Hi, I'm Chef Allen. A very simple mahi dish is a grilled mahi dish. Okay, the mahi, this is the way I cook it at home. Okay, nice and easy. It's got a lot of flavor on it. And uh, you'll see that a simple marinade or a simple spicing structure will give you all the flavor you need on this grilled mahi. Mahi is wonderful. This fish has a lot of flavor. And you know what? For those people that don't like to eat fish, this is fabulous. The flavor is mild, sweet, cooks up as a white flesh, but you'll see how we season this. It adds lots of flavor, simple flavors that are gonna work really well. So for this, I'm gonna just put this onto the platter because we're going to put a couple of seasonings in here. Salt and pepper, okay? Always season with salt and pepper on that. And one of the tricks as a chef, guess what? Both sides, okay? So real simple. Salt and pepper on both sides, seasons nicely. Then what I'm going to do is add on to this a little bit of curry powder. Okay, with the curry powder, just so it doesn't clump up, I'm gonna just tap it in. You can have a shaker or something, but I'm going to also add in a little bit of lime juice. Okay, so just squeezing the limes. These are key limes, so lots of flavor in that as well just a little bit of acidity. One of the tricks to cooking is adding some acidity at the same time as you're adding some richness and, and seasoning. So adding just a little bit to coat. Okay, going to take a little bit of olive oil, drizzle with olive oil, and also a little fresh parsley and cilantro. Okay, a little bit of each of these. Okay, so far, very easy. Going to just kind of rub that in. Going to take that and now flip it over so we get that all through. Get these flavors going on. And you'll see the parsley and the cilantro stick. The curry powder comes into it also. So you've got this nice kind of yellow tinge to it, which is going to add a lot of flavors for us as we go down onto this next part. So I'm going to let that season for just a little bit and put this aside. And while we're doing that, I'm going to be serving this actually with a little bit of a cilantro pesto. So I've made that together. That's this here, cilantro, along with a, a little bit of parsley, some garlic crushed red pepper. And what I want to do is add a little bit of orange zest to that. So just a little bit of orange zest. Add some interest, add some color to that. We've got a little bit of olive oil in there, as well as a little bit of cider vinegar. So that's going to be our pesto right there that we're going to finish the fish with. As you can see, we've got all that nice orange going on. Okay. So that's our pesto for a little bit later. The trick to grilling fish, get the grill real hot. So this should be tempered easily up as high as possible. Leave it on for about a, a half hour if you can. This can be an inside kitchen grill or outside. Okay. Either way. So when you take the fish, we're going to take it and put the side down first. Okay, and going to put that last one in over here. What we do is you get a little smoke, but also you're getting that charring flavor. That's really what we want to get. There's a lot of flavor going on here. All right, so here on the, this fish, what I'm going to do is take that and turn it over. You can see, see the color and the flavors melting into that fish. This is wonderful. Look at all that flavor. The curry cooks into it. The cilantro, the herbs, adds a, a nice texture and flavor going on here. So this is gonna take a few minutes to, to cook. Probably for a fish this thick, you're looking at about four minutes overall. Two, two minutes on the first side, two, three minutes on the second side until it gets cooked all the way through. Okay, so look at this mahi. It's really cooking beautifully. Got a lot of flavor going on here. Gonna take the, the mahi, place it on the plate nicely. Gonna take a little bit of our cilantro pesto, put that a little bit on each. Nice juices, the olive oil runs. It's a nice easy sauce, completely easy to do. I'm Chef Allen. pleasure to cook for you.